principles of dharma or the principles that Gautam Buddha preached, should we follow it or shouldn't we follow it? Should we follow it as is or shouldn't we follow it or make some modification? I think it's pretty important to observe, read, practice and see how it reflects. We cannot blindly believe what all has been written by Gautam Buddha because when it was written, we were not there and how it's been passed on from generation to generation, we don't know how it's been given to our hands. It's same thing with anything. Same thing with, you see a person passing a message of, hi, how are you doing? From one person to other person, from other, that person to other person, when it reaches to the 10th person, it becomes something like, goodbye. <laughs> so it's just like the transformation of information from generations to generation to generation might degrade and the information and there might be misinformation and the information that they are giving might not be accurate. So you cannot blindly follow everything that's been said. And this came to my attention because I was watching uh, Buddha's documentary yesterday where a kid, a small kid, uh, is becoming a mom. According to my view, there's nothing right or wrong. It's, it's, it's good in certain way. It's bad in certain way. Uh, but according to me, you need to get exposed to everything. You need to get exposed to your childhood. You need to get exposed to realization. So the realization happens when you actually get exposed to sex, when you actually get exposed to relationships, when you get, get actually get exposed to money and you realize that there is no happiness in all these things. And then you truly want to get enlightened. So that's been the trend that's been going on with the enlightened people. Not to say that you can cannot achieve in the other way, not looking into any of those things and achieving it. But one of the things I realized with kids being a monk, according to me, they have to get exposed more to the reality and get realized in that way. Not to say that if they don't, don't get exposed to anything, they will still, they might still get realized it's not the case. But according to me, I think they need to get exposed. They need to realize by themselves rather than someone forcing them to go and do that or go into that enlightenment path. So that's, that's been my observation. But there is also a disadvantage when you get exposed to all this money. Maybe you might not come out of it. So that's another scenario. But what I want to say is like, why am I saying both versions of uh, the boy being a monk at the early age and also the other viewpoint where he needs to get exposed to sex and money and all this stuff and get self-realized is because I'm relating that to principles of Dharma. The principles that Gautam Buddha created, you need to verify it because there is no right or wrong. You cannot blindly believe anything. There's nothing right or wrong. You need to get exposed to that, get observe it and then practice it and see how it's affecting you. Is it affecting you in a uh, positive way or is it depleting you? Because I've seen also the monks going and begging, uh, which is good, I'm not saying it, but I don't know whether it's practical in this real world where, where we live in the city, in city life. Not to say that when you're living in the city life, everyone can do it. I'm saying the people who want to get enlightened and they are in the city, 
uh, they're staying by themselves you know you don't have to implement all of those rules per se you can implement the rules according to your scenario and enlightenment can be achieved in the city anywhere it's possible but there is certain things that you need to keep intact that that means your environment needs to be really positive the people you surround with needs to be really positive that's the main key and then principles of dharma so if you put everything together then the enlightenment path is laid down and then you travel through that path but what i'm saying in this video is you need to really test the principles of dharma before you blindly believe any of those because the things that i see in the documentary some things it doesn't make sense for me and some things make sense for me in the same way you need to question everything you need to question this principles of dharma because even gautama buddha he denied two of the teachers who were spiritual gurus and then he denied a lot of things he questioned he, he was researching searching and after he did a lot of research searching then he came to a realization how to do by himself how to get self realized so he actually questioned everything he experimented with it and then he got successful the same thing with principles of dharma you need to question everything you need to see if it's working for you if it's not working for you then it's not working for you not to say that all the principles but you need to come up with your own set of principles and how it's going to work for you and uh, and how it will play in the path of enlightenment hopefully this video helped you and i'm sharing my experience and i'm sharing my view hopefully this helps so keep a observation on rules of dharma that you're practicing whether it's discipline or getting up at a certain time or the eating habits or the cleaning habits so the following the rule observe it how it's acting in your day to day life how it's improving uh the path of enlightenment how it's laying down the path of enlightenment for you so look at it and keep practicing the discipline and principles of dharma uh, which are good for you and good for your journey to enlightenment thank you and namaste